angels waging war in the unseen realm. Global events fulfilling biblical prophecy, eternal life. What lies beyond mortality? From analyzing the paranormal from a biblical worldview to the discussion of cutting edge science and technology, conspiracy, discovery, special investigative reports. Unafraid to explore the challenging issues facing humanity. Welcome to another edition of Skywatch TV. You may be doing everything that you know how to do to eat healthy, but there's a really good chance you're still not giving your body the nutrition it needs. Welcome to Skywatch TV, I'm Derek Gilbert. That may seem like an unusual topic for a Christian television program, but believe me, when we get to the end of this program, you'll see why we are addressing this issue. Joining us on the panel this week as we continue our four-week series of the new book, Time Bomb, the author of the book, COO of Skywatch TV, and uh, professional fitness and nutrition specialist, Joe Artis Horn. Hi, Derek a uh, certified private investigator, university student of psychology, and the administrator who keeps us organized here at Skywatch TV, as well as our sister ministries at Whispering Ponies Ranch and Defender Publishing, Allie Anderson. Hi, Derek. And a, the expert this week, doctor of chiropractic, a fellow of the International Academy of Clinical Acupuncture, and an expert in complementary and alternative medicine and nutrition. We welcome Dr. Matthew Sams to the program. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Welcome. Joe, um, you, have made this more than just a, a mission to get healthy, but this is, this is be actually becoming somewhat of a ministry to you. Um, and in that, you've recently been working on educating yourself, I mean, getting certified uh, regarding fitness and nutrition. Sure. Sure. How, how is this progress, I mean, what led to that and how is this progress uh, uh, changing sure. the course of your sure. life? Well, it would probably best serve the viewers to go back and watch the first and second of the Time Bomb programs that we've done in the series to get the longer versions, not the longest, but the longer version of how I got started. Uh, it basically, if you're just joining us for the first week, it was birthed out of the fact that I had a lot of health issues for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And as I found true and lasting healing from a lot of what was underlying to the things that I dealt with for so many years, um, I, I really felt compared to share what I discovered with others. So I recently completed several courses through the Penn Foster Career College in fitness and nutrition to become a specialist. Mm -hmm. And while I have no interest in opening a building and starting a private practice on top of all that I'm doing at Skywatch, I, I've done it just for a couple of reasons. One, I want to improve on the things I know personally about how to fuel the human body in terms of healing using the God-given herbs that are available to us rather than treating often disease with like pharmaceutical interventions that never ever actually present a cure but you're mm -hmm. just masking symptoms to something underlying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and to do this naturally uh, and do it mostly as a ministry for those right around me in my, in my immediate circle, friends and family, but also those that God might bring into my path along the way. A lot of us think that we're eating healthy. And I know that uh, we discussed sure. this in a previous episode where you know, I thought I was doing the right things by eating low fat, you know, cutting out sure. the uh, uh, you know, ice cream and stuff like that. And yet weight wasn't coming off because of what I was eating. Um, sure. Eating what you think is healthy isn't necessarily so. I mean, wh sure. what is it that we need to do? I mean, is it more than just giving up donuts? So some of the stuff that we deal with in the Time Bomb book, I'll just give you a little snapshot. We, we, we talk about the label games that go on in the United States in particular. A lot of even fruits and vegetables are, are either product of Mexico and they've been shipped in. And unless you check the labels, you don't know where they're coming from. Um, vegetables are covered in pesticides if they're not properly washed. These pesticides, uh, God never intended for these to be in your body. Mm. Uh, so your, your body is under a constant state of emergency, a constant state of stress. So even if you were to like go online and Google the healthiest gimmick diet possible, if you're still eating diseased and dirty vegetables and even like lean protein meats like chicken, mm -hmm. um, chickens, the way that they're raised in this country, if you don't get local or organic chicken, it's a total disaster. So you'll go into a restaurant and you think, hey, I'm going to make the, the, the healthy decision here. I'm going to get like a chef salad with some grilled chicken. By the time you've had pesticides, uh, fake vegetables that are totally void of any nutritious value because of over farming due to big farming, mm -hmm. 
uh, they're, they're utilizing the same crop spaces over and over and over again, so the vegetables are, are really void of anything your body would have used. They're also covered in pesticides. And then you get to the chicken. Does anybody out there watching the show know how you get a chicken to come to full maturity in four weeks as opposed to three months? First, they have to carcin First of all, they have to carcinogenically destroy the chicken's own body governing hormonal systems so that when they then pump them full of hormones, the chicken's own body can't fight against the growth of these hormones that they're being pumped with, and they blow up so fast that their own bones can't support the weight, and they end up writhing around in their own feces. Uh, it, it looks like basketballs. You can YouTube this stuff. It looks like basketballs all over, all over a, a, a dirty field. Hmm. Their little legs aren't even large enough to hold or support the body weight. So they do this. It's, first of all, it's completely inhumane, but that is the vast majority of the way that you get chicken in the United States. So by all of that, the carcinogens, the hormones, all of that survives the prep that goes into the chicken, and you end up consuming a lot of that. Mm. So you could almost become fatalist at this point. It almost, you think, oh it, my it goodness, almost I can't even have a salad without poisoning myself. But that is, where, that is where works like Time Bomb come in because we've done so much work to try to help you see through the label games, how to recognize how to actually eat clean. Even if you think you're eating healthy, there's a lot more to it. Mm, it almost makes uh, cloned meat sound appetizing. Ellie, <laughs> uh, you, you did a lot of research for the book on the, uh, the nutrition content of vegetables. I mean, we assume that eating vegetables, healthy choice. But w w why are they different today than they were a couple of generations ago? Today's vegetable, even though it is lower in certain nutrients than it would have been, say, a generation ago, it's still important to understand that that's still a healthier option than much of what's offered in the well, grocery sure. store. Yeah, right. Processed right. foods. And yeah. something that's important to note about what they're selling in the grocery stores these days is that these foods are being manufactured and raised to suit the needs of big corporate buyers. So what's happening is when you buy nearly anything in the grocery store, you're buying a product that has been raised really to the specs of a large corporate buyer. And what that means is the large corporate buyers are often fast food chains, big companies like that. And so these people are not buying because they're looking for a nutritious product. They're buying because they want something that can be raised fast mm -hmm. and with a very Long high profit yield. Life. Yes. Yep. And so a lot of what you're buying, that's part of why you're losing the nutritional value of mm. the food is because of the way the market has changed. Mm. And as we say in the book, we can begin to kind of turn this around by supporting the small local farmer. Right. The USDA actually ran a report comparing vegetables from the year 1950 to the year 1999 mm -hmm. and found that 43 common crops of vegetables analyzed had actually dropped 19 to 22 percent in a lot of the nutrients that they used to offer. That's pretty much a, a rounded number across the board. Mm -hmm. Some numbers were bigger than that and some were smaller than that, but it would take me a lot of time to sit here and try to itemize them out for you. It is available online on the USDA's website where they themselves are indicating that the nutrient content in our food mm. is declining. The interesting thing also to note is the types of deficiencies that we are seeing in these foods and the deficiencies that are being passed to us through what we are not getting from the foods are the same types of deficiencies that are lending themselves to disease. Even though we think we're eating healthy, it's just the stuff that we're putting in our body is just not as healthy as it That's was right. 60 years ago. Well, Dr. Sams, if the food, the very food that we're eating, the stuff that we're picking at the grocery store that we think is healthy, is not doing the job, then how do we get proper nutrition into our systems? So the easy, it, but not, not inexpensive way to do that is to try to go organic. And, and certainly buying from local you, you know, local markets, local farmers. Um, if you get to a grocery store, a lot of them nowadays will have an organic section, but you're gonna expect to pay about 49% more uh, for the organics than you will for the regular produce. Mm -hmm. Now for a lot of families, that's really tough to do. That's a pretty significant increase, uh, but it's worth it. You know, according to the Centers for Disease Control, the average American will find 29 different pesticides in their body. So, you know, we were talking about that earlier. Unbelievable. That's a, that's a massive number of pesticides in the average American body. So is it worth, you know, going organic and avoiding the pesticides and actually getting good nutrition out of our food?
Mm. Well, on the plus side, I, I don't have to worry about getting weevils or, or aphids, but we'll talk about exactly what we can do to replace those missing nutrients as we continue our conversation with Joe Artis Horn, Ellie Anderson, Dr. Matthew Sams. It's about the new book, Time Bomb, right after this on Skywatch TV. As many as 80% of Americans are carrying a time bomb a medical crisis in their bodies right now, unaware that they will soon develop prolonged chronic illness, autoimmune disease, or even cancer. Today's frightening truth is citizens are being poisoned every single day without their knowledge. A health epidemic largely brought on by industrialized food is destroying our genetics and immune systems through deadly modified organisms, carcinogenic materials, and life-threatening chemicals commonly found in most of today's processed groceries. Coming this April in the groundbreaking new book, Time Bomb, by Joe Artis Horn and Ali Anderson. You'll be put in charge of your health once again as commercial marketing games are exposed and the expose of the year unveils how easy it is to avoid toxic ingredients, identify organic and safe foods, and make healthy eating affordable. You will learn how neuroscience is confirming an amazing gut-brain connection that holds the key to maintaining physical, hormonal, emotional, and mental wellness. With powerful insights from health professionals for maintaining superior physiology and reversing chronic illness without a weight loss diet, Time Bomb is set to become your most important field guide for avoiding a national health epidemic more pervasive than anyone could have ever imagined. Time Bomb, coming this April. There is a genocide of deadly processed foods happening right now in the United States, creating a health epidemic more pervasive than anyone ever imagined. But now you can arm yourself with the knowledge to keep you and your family from becoming its next victim. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the Time Bomb special offer. When you order Time Bomb from the Skywatch TV store, you'll also receive the Time Bomb Companion DVD. This incredible DVD includes special, never before released, off the record interviews with healthcare professionals like Dr. Ralph Umbriaco, Dr. Joshua Vance, and Dr. Matthew Sams on the current food crisis in the US, and tips on how to achieve your optimal physiological health. This DVD is nearly five hours in length and also includes the entire Skywatch TV Time Bomb television series with Joe Horn, Ali Anderson, and Derek Gilbert. But that's not all. You'll also receive Eat This and Live for Kids. This colorful, fully illustrated book by Dr. Don Colbert walks you step by step through how to begin teaching your kids to love the foods that will love them back. While out shopping, how to avoid deadly toxins in many common kids' foods and household products, what to feed your kids from preschool to preteen, healthy snacks they will love, and what supplements they'll desperately need, and so much more. But the health epidemic isn't just limited to humankind. Also included in this unbelievable special offer, Joe Artis Horn's best-selling book, The Dead Pets Don't Lie Expose, and Companion DVD. This shocking book and DVD collection sounds the alarm on the scandalous practices of the commercial pet food industry. Learn how the FDA is allowing big scams where detestable, poisonous pet foods are being passed off as healthy and causing pets to die prematurely. You'll learn everything you need to know in order to quickly read pet food labels and allow your pet to avoid these toxic ingredients. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of over $100. Yours now for a donation of only $30 plus shipping and handling. Take control today. The Time Bomb special offer is your field guide to avoiding the deadly processed foods and ingredients that are creating a massive wave of health crisis in America. This information covers every member of the family, the adults, children, and even our pets. 
Begin transforming how you and your family eat and live now. The Time Bomb special offer. Order now at the Skywatch TV store online or call 844-750-4985. Welcome back to Skywatch TV. I'm Derek Gilbert. Hey, here's the secret tip. Awesome content from great writers every month in the Skywatch TV magazine. Writers like Allie Anderson, Joe Artis Horn, Josh Peck sitting over there, Tom Horn, and guest authors like Lieutenant Colonel Bob McGinnis, Carl Gallups, Joel Richardson, many others. Uh, you'll find it every month delivered right to your mailbox, the Skywatch TV magazine. We've got information about how you can get it at the Skywatch TV website. That's skywatchtv.com. Uh, Dr. Sams, uh, if we're not getting the proper nutrition from our food, what do we do? There's lots of different options, and so that's, that's where you get into the world of supplementing your, you know, your, your diet with the right types of nutrients. Now, again, we have to, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna supplement, we have to make sure that what we supplement with also comes from whole food, not a synthetic chemistry that's made in the laboratory and then, you know, pawned off as vitamins, you know, nutrients. Sure. So let's say you pick up a multivitamin and you look at the label. If that label, when you look at the ingredients, is a long list of words that you can't pronounce, it's all synthetic. Mm -hmm. Put it back in the shelf and walk away from it. However, if you turn that label around, you look at it and it says broccoli, asparagus, peas, you know, foods that you actually recognize, those are gonna be acceptable types of supplements. And they're gonna have whole food, they're gonna have real nutrition in them, real vitamins, real minerals, enzymes, coenzymes, all of the things that are necessary for us to thrive as we, as we consume them. Hmm. Now, what would be the difference between looking for supplements like that and just popping a standard multivitamin? If you just pull a, a standard multivitamin off the shelf, almost everything in it is going to be synthetic. Hmm. So to kind of address the, the subject of synthetic versus organic or real natural vitamins, if you think about a lock on a door. So you've got a door that's got a lock on it and you've got a key that will fit into that lock. Let's say you've got a whole pocket full of keys, but there's only one key on your pocket or in your key ring that will actually unlock the lock. There might be several keys that will fit into the lock mm -hmm. and bind to it, but not activate it. Uh. And that's the difference between a synthetic. A synthetic vitamin will bind it will fit into the receptor sites, but it will not activate and create a physiologic response. So that's, that's the big difference. Hmm. So what sorts of um, minerals and nutrients should we be looking for in supplements? So that's, that's a big question. Yeah, I mean, what are the ones that are most commonly deficient in our bodies? So probably one of the most deficient is gonna be something as simple as magnesium. That's, that's a big one. Uh, so if you have twitches, muscle spasms, right. cramps, charley horses, you're very likely deficient in magnesium. Mm -hmm. You may also be deficient in calcium and potassium and phosphorus and several other macro minerals all at the same time because they tend to, you know, in our food, you know, when you eat a, a carrot, you're not just extracting magnesium out of that carrot. You've got all of the vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and coenzymes coexisting in that whole food. So where would we find magnesium? I mean, I, I'm, there, there's, I mean, what, what sorts of uh, supplements will we, we look to for that? I'm, because to be honest, I, you know, I'm a fairly smart guy with good reading comprehension, but I can't think of a vegetable or, off the top of my head that, that is, <laughs> okay, this is, this is the magnesium vegetable. <laughs> so, well, there is one, it's actually peaches. Really? Peaches are very high in magnesium, but all of your green vegetables are going to have a fair amount of, of magnesium as well. And Dr. Sams, isn't it also true that improperly taking uh, supplements, as they're labeled, at a lot of the big box stores that you've seen throughout the years and years of, of, of helping patients recover from, from various things, that if a person, for example, is taking iron or calcium, I know is a big one, uh, improper, synthetic, uh, really inexpensive supplements can actually damage the body more than it can ever help? So one of the, one of the most common things is calcium. People all the time take calcium supplements. They're not even sure why they're taking calcium supplements, except maybe, maybe their primary care physician has said, 
oh, you, you've got osteoporosis or your bone density is thinning, you need calcium. So that is the first thing I will take patients off of when they come to see me. If they're taking a heavy load of calcium, number one thing I will take right out of their, their system is, is this inorganic calcium. So there's a difference between organic and inorganic minerals. And, and this is a big deal. Um, inorganic minerals aren't gonna do anything to build bone density or, or help us to really recover from a low bone mass. However, if you take calcium from an organic source, meaning a food-based source, and in this case, particularly bone, this is where you get really good, strong calcium that, that's organic, that will help us to rebuild our bones. It needs to come from bone. So if you're gonna build bone, you must eat bone. And that's true with most of our minerals. We, we have to get them from organic food sources or we're better off not to take them. Sure. Mm. Kind of the way God designed us in the first place. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> um, well, do you, do you want to move on to the uh, time bomb viewer challenge, Joe? This is something we've been doing now for the last couple of weeks. Are we, uh, uh, we're, we're basically, we're challenging viewers to, to change the way they approach their diet and nutrition by removing something Yes, harmful sure, you bet. From their, from their diet. Yeah, I'm really excited about this week's Skywatch TV Time Bomb Challenge. Uh, and instead of doing an ingredient directly, we're actually going to encourage, are you ready for this? For those just joining every week, we're challenging you at home to eliminate one ingredient every week to show you how easy it can be to start implementing baby steps to a, to a healthier style of living. This week, we're challenging you to eliminate ever drinking anything out of a plastic water bottle again. Dr. Sams? So one of the, one of the most harmful things that, we, that we're exposed to when it comes to plastic drinking bottles are xenoestrogens. These are like synthetic estrogens. They're, they're just, they're fake, they're false. And so when you put that into the human body, then they act like estrogen, particularly in a man, mm -hmm. um, you're gonna get things to grow that you really don't want to grow. This, mm -hmm. is, this mm -hmm. is one of the sources of man boobs. Uh, now the same thing when you put this into women, if you put xenoestrogens, they have estrogenic like effects. And in women, again, they make things grow. So when we have an, an estrogen dominance in, in women, uh, this is one of the primary things that leads to estrogen positive breast cancer. Mm. And among the boys, uh, I would imagine children who are growing, it, it can lead to developmental issues. It, it sure can, yes. When, you know, you get a, a young boy that's consuming a lot of these xenoestrogens, they're gonna have things that are, that are growing that shouldn't be growing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a source of weight gain as well. Mm -hmm. It's just not a healthy thing to be feeding our, our kids. You know, and Joe, this is, I'm glad you brought this one up. This is actually something Sharon and I talked about on uh, Sci Friday a while back, which, by the way, is one of our web exclusive programs you'll find at skywatchtv.com, um, that uh, is not just limited to water bottles, but uh, basically a, a lot of plastics. Right, have, uh, right. And there's That's a right. chemical a lot, a lot of people will see in, in, in bottles and in other plastic containers. That's right. They'll label BPA free, but. What we found was that the BPA has been replaced by another chemical, BPS, uh, which they found is actually worse. That when you contain, right. when you use a uh, like a like a plastic storage container, that's right. Uh, or a, uh, uh, I had a bunch of plastic coffee travel mugs. Right. Thankfully, coffee's not been one of the challenge items yet. Um, but but think but, of, but whenever you put something in one of those containers and it gets heated, that chemical, the BPA, the BPS, leaches in, and it again, as Dr. Sam said, right. the, the false estrogen, the xenoestrogen enters the body. So we've gotten right. rid of all of our, not just our plastic water bottles, but our plastic food storage containers, the things that we use and pop into the microwave. That's right. So yeah, yeah there, there are a lot of things that these come in. So it's not just the plastic water bottles, but we, we plastic food a, containers as well. We could have did a time bomb challenge this week telling you not to use your microwave, but that's a whole other program. No, it's yeah. true. When you go through the drive-through and you get a hot coffee, a lot of those black plastic lids yeah. every time you take a swig, right. and it's worse when things heat up. Right, exactly. So, so think about it. Most Americans or a huge number of adults what is the first thing they do every single morning when they get up? Now, I'm not going to name name brands, but they'll take a little tiny mm -hmm. receptacle of coffee. They'll put it in a machine, press the lid, go get in the shower, come back, and they got hot coffee or whatever, <laughs> right? It's a fresh dose every single morning. <laughs> That's where I got this one. <laughs> and they're being strained through these little plastic cups. 
Every single morning. Yeah. So think of it. If you had an old, let's say five, six year old. Well, the machine old, itself is plastic. So right, it, right. It's, yeah. It, if you yeah. had an old five or six, you know, five or six year old plastic cup that had been through the wash at least a thousand times, and it was with maybe something cold is inside, you'd at least have a sporting chance, right? Right. No, right. no, no. This is a product of China in most cases. A little right. tiny plastic cup full of mm -hmm. coffee, and you're putting hot fluids through a brand new one every single right. morning right. for a fresh dose of hormonally confusing well, why, inducement. At least, at least at home, we use a, a percolator, so we're, we're probably better off at. But yeah, here at the office for a quick one. Uh, but these yeah. are just these are just a few of the things that are in the time bomb book that we take on because what we want to do is arm you with a tool that takes all of the label gaming and makes it easy for you to follow. Talking about organic foods, do I have to eat organic? How can I grocery shop and afford to eat? Um, Supplements, proper supplementation, the long version, the very useful version, the baby step version is in the Time Bomb book. Yeah, and the reason I said at the beginning that uh, this is relevant for a Christian television program, how is it possible to fulfill the Great Commission to go and make disciples of all nations when you're feeling lousy? Because your body's not getting the nutrition it needs, you've got added weight, you don't know why, your body is dealing with the added stresses from that weight, you're tired, fatigued, achy, this can make a difference. It's hard to give your best for the Lord when you feel like you can't get off the couch. So, Dr. Matthew Sams, honored to meet you, sir. Ellie Anderson, Joe Horn, I'm Derek Gilbert. This is Skywatch TV.